Yo, I'm not hating. I know my people are my race, but my verse is much greater. I'm a debater. I'll break it down so you can see the flow. It's your turn to go. I'll pass the microphone for y'all. Probably my favorite battle that I ever done was the one with the Saurus at the Scribble Jam prelim in uh, in San Francisco in like 05, I think. And it was like one of my like best like individual performances in battling, I think. Before then, these guys fucking they're they're both the most polished at at that style of rapping at that the fresh coast west coast fashion at the time you know these were like the two dudes like if, if it was going to be anybody it was going to be the guy who fucking won brainstorm or it was going to be this fucking new fucking machine you know I'll spit it clear, watch me rip this weird Because I smoke a long joint, I'm on point like Mr. Vince's beard So check that, I rap cats And if you step to me, I go right so fast Your neck will get some whiplash You bitch ass, I disgrace y'all dreams I thought the fucking Royals were a baseball team I grab the mic, the difference between black and tight Is like a jersey and shirt, black and white Woo! Who shouldn't grab the mic? Cause I'ma slap this guy till my appetite is satisfied Listen, 
And they went for like four, three, four rounds or whatnot, and it was just like, like all I can, all I can hear is just like electro compulsive therapy, and then rah rah, they're just going at each other, dude. Cool. All right, listen. Here we go. Check. I usually don't carry a gun, but I brought a gat today. So when I blast the spray, you pass away just like Jam Master J. Because the fact that your rap becomes more obvious with every single fucking rap you say. Ha! Because you know I'm straight blazing them. Here's a couple lines about his fucking facial skin. Those are really nice bumps. You can grab a dirt bike and use his face as some bike jumps. Bitch, because you know it's nice to meet ya. Cut out a triangle of your face, there's a slice of pizza. Buster, because you know I'm straight dropping on the, off the top of the dome, your face is like cobblestone. Yo, yo, what up? That right there actually put me on my toes. That right there, because because before I, I think that was when I was going through you know the phase I'm going through now. I was like I don't give a fuck about battling, and I saw that and I was like I like battling again, you know. And I was I was spitting heat, and he still won, and I wasn't even fucking at all upset about the decision. And it, but it's it, you know. It's, it's my favorite, even though I took the L in it, just because I came hella correct, this fool came hella correct. Any character flaw you can find in anybody that's your opponent, you wanna point out and expose to the maximum. But you also have to like sort of feel out the crowd. You have to figure out what kind of stuff the crowd is responding to because there are certain audiences that respond to things that you know, others don't. Size like you dancing, you stop prancing. On this field, I be advancing. Ubiquitous, and yeah, you mispronounce that shit. I fuck you in the ass if this shit was to liberate. But it don't get shit. I'm not playing, I'm just portraying a different style. style. You go to a Tourette's battle, you cannot say the word faggot because you're gonna get booed immediately. Tourette's was cool because it was a monthly spot that you knew that you could go and just battle motherfuckers at and there's gonna be some dope fools there. History happens there, you know what I mean? Like a lot of legendary battles happen there. That was a classic Tourette's moment right there because uh, Arukusaki was the dominant factor in the Bay Area scene. Dude was really doing his thing as far as like he was in the East Bay Express getting write-ups in magazines and like, Jamie Kennedy was begging any rapper to come through and take him out. Nobody could take him out. All right, now uh, before I go into the hip hop jokes, I'm gonna rap some MC shit that's like smoke. True hot fire, I'll show you my desire. It's being an MC, not clowning on this guy's attire. It's flat tire when it comes to the flow. Rukusaki, man, do it, baby, already know. See, I'm an MC, I do DJing and b-boying, and I write some graph and straight lyrically be destroying. That's elements of hip hop. And you wanna know what an MC can do? That's how you rip shit. Now, uh, I can understand the other flow, but all those jokes belong in a comedy show. Can y'all feel that? Make some noise. All my girls, all my boys. Now, I'm an MC, time. said it twice. Time, yeah. time, time, time. And it wasn't until Thesaurus came and fucking cock slapped Aruku that the fucking game changed. One, yeah. two, three, yeah. go. Everyone came for hip hop jokes, and I got one for you. This bitch got broke. your ponytail and use it as a tiki torch. Oh God, this is karate class. I'm gonna kick a Rukusaki's ass and put him in a body cast. I guess you'll probably crash. You'll never see this 
wanna be last, oh god. A fucking slaughter whack and seize a Rukusaki, you ain't a quarter Japanese, you're another lame clown. The upper playground, that's where I made your mother lay down. That was, you know, where fools would go once a month to hear really good rapping. Yo, you don't think it's tough. I hope you get a razor bump the next time you shake your cut, you raise as fuck. You need a shut your mouth. Every time I'm about to come back and bust them out. I don't give a fuck, clown or white sheep. But you're about as fucking high T as Tai Chi and Chai T. So, I don't give a fuck what you say. Every time I'm back, I'm about to bust it today. I don't give a fuck. You wanna put a rock patron? A lot of heavy hitters came from that atmosphere. Tourette's as a battle form is very weird because it's unpredictable and the crowd is so weird and there's so many uh, proletariats and lesbians and fucking, um, you know what I mean? Communists and homeless people and meth addicts that you never know what the verdict's gonna be as far as the judgment and they select random judges from the crowd. You got white girls with huge asses dancing on stage. It's like a really, really strange environment. Hi everybody, so good to see you again. It's a very unique crowd there, and they have very unique sensibilities. Yo, yo, I'm ripping you, dog, so listen and fall. We'll have a threesome, at least the bitch is involved. You can lay fools with lipstick. I guess that means you're gonna leave a rainbow on this stick. Oh, God, you just walk away. Congratulations, the first time you got in lane. Once you get over the fact that you can come dope and you might lose and you have actually have fun, because I mean that place is like 70 to 30 girl ratio and there's no MC battle that's like that. Big ups to Tourette's. These MCs are so mean. Can we have a compliment battle please? There's, there's a lot of new young bucks and shit now which is, which is really gives me hope. There's a lot of new kids that are coming up that have watched that footage and are as good or better. I'll split your lips and leave you with an open smile. My flow is wild, you got a bogus style. Well, somebody from this Oakland crowd, call Eddie Murphy and tell him I found his fucking golden child. Yo, and just as a warning, I'm gonna show up to your house one day and kick over your couch, fuck face. 
leave your carpet covered in mud stains, flip over your dinner table just to fuck up your feng shui. <laughs> Check it out. Hey, yo, yo. And I'll break you, dog. And his mother is the nastiest heifer, y'all. Fuck a massage parlor. You could get a happy ending just for ordering the right special off the menu at his dad's restaurant. And it's not just your mom, cause your sister, she's a whore. I picked her up from work, but I couldn't wait to get home and beat it raw. So I just made her suck me off until her knees were sore at the entrance of your family owned convenience store. And straight up, get too close to me, I guarantee I'll sock your face. And Tantrum, I gotta say, this outfit that you rock today makes you look like a Shaolin monk that's about to rob a bank. <laughs> Yo, check it out, check it out. I don't know why you're speaking to Ron. You saw Last Samurai, it was your people that died. So I can't believe Mr. Last Samurai. I'll believe this cat traumatized with a fucking rap homicide. I just asked the next question. That's a pretty nice shirt, but try shopping in the men's section. film because that's how I do it because I got the hatchet still. Homie, nobody thinks this guy is rhyming. He acts like he lived a life of violence, like he lived in Pelican Bay or Rikers Island, when the truth is you're about as nice as rhyming as Miley Cyrus. He listens to the Dave Matthews band and they might be giants. So how the fuck can this kid get hyped? He's never witnessed strife. He used to throw fits and cry when his daddy went on a business flight. You from Sacramento? Well, let me get this right. When I fist his dyke, her clit gets like the Christmas lights in Citrus Heights. Oh! Oh! 